Hi everyone, Kathy from Kathy's Vegan Kitchen here. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make homemade peanut butter. And it might sound a little weird, why would you make homemade peanut butter? Okay, this almond butter from Trader Joe's, if you can see this, this is all oil in the top. Yeah, you can open it up and drain it off, but it's kind of disgusting. This peanut butter, has roasted peanuts, sugar, three different kinds of oil, and salt. Again, I'm sure it tastes good, but it's not. So today we're gonna make our own, and all you need is salted peanuts. That's all you need. You can also do salted cashews. You could do, if you don't want any salt, you could just do plain cashews that are unsalted. You can do almonds, you could do macadamia. Any butter that you wanna make, you can just do it right at home. And what you do is you take a food processor with a large blade, you pour all the peanuts in there, and then you put the top on, and then all you do is put it on high and you let it go until it turns into peanut butter. You don't have to add any sugar, any salt, any oil. Okay, once the nuts chop up and they get all creamy. It looks like this. If you want crunchy peanut butter, you can uh, chop up some nuts first and separate them and then stir them into the peanut butter after. Now, it wouldn't be any fun if I didn't show you how to do something fun with your homemade peanut butter. So if you have never had a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich with bananas, you're missing out. So kids love this. So we're gonna take some of our homemade peanut butter, and everybody knows how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I know, but you can actually have a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is to die for. You can also put this in a panini maker. You can stick it in the air fryer, but today I'm just going to put it in a skillet. You don't need any butter on your bread. No butter on the bread is necessary to toast anything in a pan. And I'm going to add banana slices to this as well. Get that little nub out of there. You're going to chop up a banana. And we're going to put the banana on top of the peanut butter. On the other side of the bread, on the other side of the bread, I have strawberry jam that has no added sugar. It's just strawberries. That's going to be a good bite right there. <laughs> and you're going to heat your pan to medium. And again, you don't need any butter or any oil in the pan or anything like that, you can add the rest of these banana slices too. Let's just put the whole banana on there. You put it on top, and then we're going to put it in the pan and cook it on both sides for about five minutes. See, it's nice and crispy and without any butter or anything on both sides. We're gonna take it out of the pan. See how crunchy it is? Look at that. The peanut butter and the jelly, it all melts together with the bananas. Yum. If you like this recipe and others, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment below. See you next time.